good morning guys welcome back to my channel so i wanted to do a little channel update with you guys in just a minute we'll talk about that um i'm gonna be absent possibly for a little while hopefully i don't have to be absent at all but i know that i probably will be for a couple of days um so i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on in my life in just a minute so before any of you go comment in my comment section saying that i need to stop talking about my life and talk about the case with summer let me tell y'all something this is my platform and this is my channel if i choose to talk about what's going on in my life i will do that at my own will so please don't go comment that because i'm just going to delete it and move on like you're going to waste your time i had a girl the other day comment like seven paragraphs on my channel and it was nothing but a bunch of bs it was like judging my channel 100 and i just deleted it i didn't even read it so like really don't even waste your time because i'm pretty sure she wasn't too happy when she seen she did all that for nothing i'm just saying all right so um back to what i was saying i will be talking to you guys about where i'll be at in just a few minutes but before i do so i wanted to talk about this search going on with summer um i'm really glad that equisearch is coming back from texas to um comb the area again and to expand the search more so that they have um, a better chance of finding summer this time now as you guys know there was some service barriers in um, the area that was causing them to not be able to um, communicate well and that has a big impact on the search so um, if you haven't seen my last video go watch it they talk about that a lot but um, I'm really just hoping that with that being resolved for the most part that they can really get out there and, and find summer this time because guys even if they find her whether she's dead or alive and i'm praying and hoping that she is alive i'm still trying to hold on to that little bit of hope that she could be alive um regardless she deserves to be laid to rest if she's not and regardless whoever is at fault for this needs to pay for it they justice needs to be served period and you know like in the video i think it's two videos back of mine um i talked about you know candace going to the water park and allegedly drinking and with her kids and enjoying herself um you know when you put certain information out there it's exactly what's going to happen you know if you're out in public drinking and smiling and laughing and having a good time while you know, EquiSearch is getting prepared to come back and comb the area again to look for your five-year-old daughter who you haven't even been looking for. That's a little bit concerning to me and, and many other people as well. And for those of you trying to stick up and defend this family saying, oh, well, maybe she's drinking to cope. Guys, she was drinking before this took place. One, the friend of the family, well, she's, I guess, an ex-friend of um, Candace. I believe her name is Allie. She can vouch for that, but regardless that's just hearsay right let's talk about all the tiktok videos and all of the social media videos that candace has posted while she was highly intoxicated leaning over in chairs dropping ashes on her sweater like that's the kind of stuff that i'm referring to i, I you know we only go off of what we see and yeah she may be trying to drink a little extra now to cope but is that how you should be coping going to a water park with kids getting drunk or however she was doing even if she was drinking to get tipsy enjoying yourself and laughing meanwhile you know in the back of your mind that your daughter is somewhere out here suffering possibly potentially allegedly right because we don't know what happened to summer and if she didn't know what happened to summer then why would she be able to sit back and enjoy herself at a water park like that i know that life goes on and people cope differently but I guess the reason that I feel so uneasy about it is because we have Equifax in Texas getting ready to come back to Tennessee to do a more thorough search for this little girl and she's just out here enjoying life. And this is my opinion, that's just how I feel. I'm not saying that Candace and Don are guilty of murder or guilty of anything at all, but they are guilty of lying and they are guilty of putting things on social media that they are completely aware that they're going to be judged for and continuing to do so when there's a missing five-year-old girl you know just stop posting on social media if you don't want to be judged because it's going to happen um anyways that's just my opinion and i'm not saying whether or not they're guilty or innocent we will find that out soon that's why all this investigation is still going on Clearly, TBI and the EquiSearch um, teams are not leaning towards the abduction theory because if they thought that she had truly been abducted, why would they still be searching for her in the woods? Come on. Like, 
they're wait you mean they're gonna come back and waste even more money and time do you know how much money they spent doing this search for summer they spent a whole lot of money okay and do you think they're gonna waste all this time searching for summer in the woods if they truly did not believe that she was there anyways um so i am really hoping that we get answers soon we should all be team summer we all have our own theories and we all have our own speculations about what happened but until more information comes out there's not much that we can really do all right so um just wanted to give a little update on my channel and what's going on with me i am getting ready to have surgery i planned this surgery months ago um if you go all the way back in my videos um I think the video is still up. It posted a video about my cosmetic surgery journey. I'm going to be going through some cosmetic surgery. Um, I've been on a weight loss journey for quite some time now and um, actually for about two years. And no matter how much weight I've lost, I have still had this skin that just seems to be sagging in the front of my abdominal area, if you will. So um, I am getting some cosmetic surgery to repair the muscles in my stomach from my three children that have been um, torn up, I guess, if you will. And um, I am going to be getting some other cosmetic surgery done as well. So I will most likely post my journey on my channel. Again, if you don't wanna watch it, don't watch it. It doesn't matter one way or another. I'm only really doing it for my own sake. Um, just so that I can have my journey out there for girls who are thinking about going through some kind of cosmetic procedure um, because I'm actually nervous about it I've never gone through anything like this I'm 28 years old I've never even thought about it but you know after losing that much weight and seeing results that are not so pleasant um, I have figured out that that's what I wanted to do so um, I will be sharing my journey on this channel hopefully I don't know exactly how we're gonna do this but I will be sharing the journey on here I don't know if I'll be able to film my husband is not the best filmer but hopefully he can um, you know learn how to do it and um, we'll work together to make it happen so I am getting my surgery on July 26 that's a Monday if you guys have had cosmetic surgery of any kind, comment down below because I really want to know. I'm kind of nervous and just hearing experiences, it would be uh, appreciated because I've never gone through anything like this. So, and I really don't even have family who's gone through it much. I had one cousin who had one cosmetic procedure done, but it's something totally different than what I'm getting done. So I'm getting a lipo 360, a BBL and um, a tummy tuck and um, you know, I didn't even really want the BBL part at first, but since I've lost weight, one of the biggest places that I've lost weight was in my butt, unfortunately. And um, it just, it's not pleasant to me. So my doctor up here where I live at and getting the surgery locally, he was actually just like, well, you know, I guess we'll go ahead and, um, you know, if you want to do the BBL, I'll do it for an extra thousand dollars because it only costs an extra thousand dollars to do it. So um yeah so that's what i'm getting done and i'm excited but i am nervous i'm more nervous for the tummy tuck part than anything but i guess we will see how that goes now if my comments do get turned off for some reason because my comments keep on getting turned off then hopefully they won't be turned off on my next video and you guys can um because i'm going to try to do a video about like all the things that i've purchased for my surgery and i know it probably will not get the comments turned off for that one because I don't see why they would turn the comments off for that one. Um, I know that they're turning off comments when it has to do with summer, obviously, and I can understand why after seeing some of the comments that I've seen. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping that they don't turn the comment section off because I'd really like to hear some feedback from you, um, ladies and gentlemen too, if you've had cosmetic surgery done. So just wanted to let you guys know where I'll be. Um, they said that for the first four days, it will be kind of the toughest part of all of it. But then after four days, I should be good to go. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. Um, and guys, if you want to continue to follow my surgery journey or if you want to follow, um, you know, my updates on summer and, and and I'm not stopping here, you know, I have another case I want to do after this one that actually means a lot to me, but I've really been trying to get as much information about it as possible before I do that case. Um, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos and turn on your post notifications bell and comment down below and let me know what you guys think if the comment section is turned on. I will see you guys soon and thank you guys for watching.